You see, the problem is that because of our habit, you know, because of our identifying not with the light, not with that eternal light, but with our problematic light. So we have forged our habit, you know, just like our habit of everyday daily, that goes into our subconscious mind, then we keep doing. Then you say, Guruji, we want to change, but we can't. We try, we can't. Like Krishna said, everything can change, everybody can change when you develop a different habit, a better habit. But if you keep hanging on the same old habit, changes will not happen. To change something you have to hold upon a greater habit. For example, If, let's say, three o'clock in the morning you wake up, by any means, you know, if you have programmed yourself, you wake up at three. That becomes your habit. What will be your first thing you do? Huh? Chan mantra. Or would you look at your mobile? <laughs> huh? What will be the first thing? Eh? What time is it? That will be the excuse, no? The excuse will be because of the time you are looking at the mobile. From the time, what will be the next excuse? How many messages I have? How many of you do that? <laughs> and if you don't have any message, you will check whether you have the connection or not. <laughs> so you see how these are formed, you know? This is a regular pattern which you have attached yourself to it, you know? But if you change that pattern, attached to a different habit, a different you will submerge from inside, a different personality which uh, you'd have never seen. You know? But you hold upon your weaknesses. You hold upon, you see, to do wrong things, is very easy. There's no effort required. To be negative, there's no effort required. It's natural, no? They are sitting everywhere. You know? Yesterday I was saying, what you watch, you know, that also is important. Did uh, somebody tell you that? Oh, watch this and watch that? No, you do it naturally. Whenever there is something bad to do, it occurs so naturally to you because of the habit. But to do something good, it's always an effort that you put inside. No? To hate somebody, like that you can do. But to love someone, it's always an effort. I always say, you see, to make somebody negative, it's very easy. Just tell them something that they want to hear, they become negative. But just tell them something good which they don't want to hear. Look how much effort you have to do to train them to, be, to start understanding that. And you can see it when the Swamis are teaching. You know. How is the rebel mind at that moment. Your mind is always rebelling, no? Your mind is always, uh, has a, try to 
oppose what you're hearing. Is something good for you? Deep inside you know it is good. But the mind rebelled again. Due to the samskaras of the life outside which you have taken so much accustomed to. You have put on that habit that uh, it has to be like that. <laughs> but then you hear something different. No, it is not according to what you have always understood. Shastra said something else, you know, spirituality is telling you you have to transform yourself. What will be your reaction? Opposed to it, no? But yet, because of that, you see, yes, there is something that I have to change inside of me, not in somebody else. It is inside of me. We like to put it on other people because we like them to agree with all our own ideas of things, you know, we like them to agree to our own delusion and justify our delusion. And we don't see that we are already into that delusion. You know? So the effort that you take to transform yourself, that effort itself, you have to start not justifying it, but you have to start to be grateful about it. Grateful about yourself. Grateful to about your own effort that you are putting to transform yourself. And that what will create a different habit inside of you. As long as you are not grateful about it, that habit, the new habit will not take place. Similar, in a garden, we see the weeds, they grow effortlessly. No? Without any effort, the weeds grow. But if you want to plant a seed, what do you have to do? You have to till the earth, prepare the earth nicely, put the right menu into it, plant the seeds, with the right climate, the seeds will grow. But it don't happen just like that. No? But for the weeds, it grows naturally. Without any effort, you want it, you don't want it, the weed will grow. When you go to the temple, you say, like, God, please make me in my worst way or in your best way. In your best way, no? No one will go to the guru and say, can you please make me the most worst person in the world? I never met anybody who would ask that. Everybody come and say, make me a better person. Because you hold upon that good quality. You hold upon something positive inside of you. But to access to that positivity, it takes an effort by your side, you know. It doesn't happen in one day. Not one day you're sitting here, one day of darshan, that will change. No, it takes the whole effort from your side, you know, for your life itself, for that transformation to happen, for that change to happen inside of you. Then once that change happens, it becomes natural also. Then when you wake up in the at three o'clock, will be not looking at your messages. It will go directly, how can I do my sadhana? How can I sit into my meditation? That will not bother. Even alarm you will not need to put. Because it will become so natural that the moment it is three o'clock, you will wake up. So that what all the saints and sages have said, you know, transformation is very important. Yeah. But you have to put that effort into it.